Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on C programming for beginners and in this video we will see what are structures in C and how we can use structures in C. So the first question is what is a structure in C? Uh, in C a structure is a collection of different uh, variable which are grouped together to make uh, make some logical uh, group so for example I want to make a structure of a student uh, there is no direct variable uh, I can uh, uh, give to define the attribute for a student so that I know that this uh, attribute is for some particular student there can be many students and there can be uh, you know uh, I have to declare so many uh, variables and in the end when I have so many variables I can get confused uh, which which variable is assigned to which student so structures make it very easy to uh, define if you have a group of variable to which you want to bind uh, in a logical group. So let's see how we can uh, uh, declare a structure in C. So structure you just uh, need to use struct keyword in uh, to define a structure and then the name of the structure for example student and then comes these uh, curly braces I just need to change the fonts so then comes these uh, curly braces here and then inside these curly braces you can define your variable so what attributes the students can have he can have his ID his or her so this ID can be an integer so I will define int ID then the, a student can have uh, his uh, name so I can define string as a name so string for example care uh, pointer I can define it as a name hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on C programming for beginners and in this video I will teach you what is a structure in C and how we can use structures in C now what is a structure structure is a group of variable which you can group uh, together to make a logical uh, you know variable for example you want to define some database of uh, some student or you want to uh, uh, create some record of a student or some students uh, it will be very difficult to define uh, variables to each student and then if in the end if you have uh, many variables containing the student record uh, it can get a little bit messy but uh, we can uh, make the situation better by using structure so structure is a logical uh, group of variables so to define a structure for example I want to define a structure of student uh, to define a structure we use a keyword called struct and then we uh, give the name of the structure for example I give the name to my structure as student and then comes curly braces and inside these curly braces you define your uh, attributes for this student structure okay so for example what attributes or what traits a student can have a student can have uh, uh, his id which can be integer id student id can be integer so i define integer then student have his name which can be character and student can have his score or marks which can be in percentage and percentage uh, we will define it as a floating uh, point so uh, he can have these three attributes or these three traits right 
now for each student we can define this uh, a different uh, you know instance of a structure and we can use structure uh, to make a logical group of these three variable for a particular student okay now once you define uh, the structure this kind of structure you can use it in your main function like this so whenever you define a structure you need to call it inside your main function and how you can call it you can just copy the name of the structure and struct keyword itself and then give the name to this student structure right so for example you give the student structure name record 1 for example this uh, indicates the student record student record of student 1 for example right now this is the variable you define for this student structure so this can be a uh, treated the student can be treated as a data type in this case and structure is a key of keyword which tells that it's a uh, a uh, student data type which is a structure okay and this is your variable name just uh, think it think it like this okay now whenever you want to assign some value to this uh, record which is a, a instance of uh, the student structure instance means uh, one uh, part of this student uh, then you, how you can do it you can just do it simply like this so you just need to take this record and you for example you want to assign id to this uh, record you just need to use this dots separator and you will be able to see the member variables of this uh, student uh, structure you can see automatically in code blocks okay so these id name and percentage are called the members of the structure okay and you can call them using this dot separator or after this variable okay so for example student id is equal to 1 uh, for example i have assigned 1 to record 1 and student uh, name so i will once again use this dot uh, name and then i can assign any name to this student but if you remember in the last video when i uh, teach you what are strings i taught you how you can copy a string to a uh, you know a character array right or you can assign or copy a string you can just use a function called st str cpy which is string copy and then you can use uh, this thing so the first argument of this function is the destination where you want to assign the value and second uh, argument is the value itself for example the value is john so basically what we have done is we have assigned john as a value to this uh, name variable record dot name variable okay and the third we can assign percentage like the same so record 1 dot percentage is equal to for example uh 70.20 okay these are the percentage scored by him okay now once you assign uh, these uh, values to the structure or you the into the instance of the structure you can access these values also using uh, your print uh, uh, print function so just use print and then you can just call for example id so uh, you can just write id is equal to percentage d and then you can just give the space uh, and just write name 
is equal to percentage s and just gives a little bit more space and then just write percent is equal to uh, percentage f okay so this is for holding the decimal value this is for holding the string this is for holding uh, the floating point right and we will give the line break here also and then we will assign or we can where we can access the values we, which we have assigned just by like same as we have assigned the value so record dot id will give you the id record dot name will give you the name and record dot percentage record one dot percentage will give you the percentage okay like this so let's uh, break this print into few lines so we can see it easily okay so we can access these uh, values like this okay so let's try and run the program and hopefully it doesn't contain any errors and you can see id is equal to 1 name is equal to john and percentage is equal to 70.1999 which is 70.20 right so in the same way you can uh, define different instance of the student structure and you can maintain a record of the student for example uh, you define uh, some different structure so i will just copy the same and paste it below to uh, define a second uh, record and this record i will name it as record 2 everywhere i will just change it record 2 record 2 record 2 here also record 2 so i will just copy record 2 for the student 2 okay and the id now is uh, 2 the name will change for example mark and the percentage also changes for example 91.30 okay and now we have two records of the student student with uh, student id 1 and student with student id 2 so logically we have two record for students right run the program and now it uh, says id is equal to 1 name john percent is 70 point something id is equal to 2 name mark percent uh, 90.1 point something right so in this way you can uh, define as many instances of this structure as you want and you can uh, you know create a uh, uh, re record for the student or so this is one way of using structure there is one more way of using structure uh, in c and this is by directly giving the name to your student uh, structure for example i can just delete this line from here and instead of giving the name to this uh, uh, student variable here i can just give the name at the declaration of this student structure for example record right and then this record will be my variable name okay so the student is the structure and record will be the variable name of your uh, structure okay and then you can use this record to uh, uh, you know access the value or assign the values to this record for example here you can just replace record like this and it will work like same so you don't need to declare this record inside your main this can be also declared uh, like this and this will be your variable name and you don't need to declare inside your main and when you run the program it will run fine it will give you the output so in this way you can use structures in c and uh, try uh, you know using structures uh, by yourself and try practicing uh, using structures and you will be good to go